First and foremost, the governor has to sign the bill. Sources say he does plan to do that in the next couple of days. Right now, his staff is working out the logistics and the steps that are needed to take down the state flag once and for all. By vote of 91 yeas and 23 nays, the bill passes. Lawmakers made the flag replacement official Sunday with a majority vote in both houses. An historic decision to replace the controversial banner that has flown over the state for the past 126 years. I've already asked two people to be on the commission. So we'll be releasing those very shortly as soon as the bill is signed by the governor. As lawmakers await the governor's signature to make the flag change law, Lieutenant Governor Delbert Hoseman says he has almost made all of his three appointments to the commission that will pick the next flag. The governor has three commission picks, so too the Speaker of the House, and they will likely operate out of the Department of Archives and History. So there'll be a central location there. The commission will start meeting over there, and they'll, they'll put out a website, I'm sure, and you'll be able to contact them with your yeses and nos and what you think. Briggs Hobson, who led the flag change bill on the Senate side, says the wheels are in motion for the flag change. There is a September deadline to have a choice for voters to consider this November. Uh, so my expectation is very soon, uh, within the next uh, four weeks or so, you're going to he start hearing words about what people should be doing to get their ideas and thoughts in on the new flag. A lot of people are already lining up with their own designs and ideas for this state flag. But remember, first things first, the governor has to sign the bill, and then they have to announce the nine members of that commission. The only requirements for being on that commission is that one person be from the Economic Council, one from the Arts Council, and the other from Archives and History. Live at the State Capitol, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News.